below SD. Below SD or standard definition refers to every screen resolution that falls under 480p. It includes low resolutions such as 144, 240, and 360p, and was common in the early era of digital video and online platforms. For example, the first YouTube video, Me at the Zoo, was only available in 144 and 240p. Everything looks blurry in this resolution, but at least we can still recognize faces and large objects in the background. However, when we see small details like text in this low resolution, the writing becomes hard to read unless the image is taken from a close distance. As for 360p, it appeared on premium devices at the time, like the Nokia N8 phone, Apple's iPod video players, and also older CCTV cameras. But nowadays, resolutions below standard definition are mostly used only when watching YouTube videos on a very slow or unstable internet. 480p 480p, which is also known as standard definition, was the resolution that almost everyone used in the mid-2000s. It has a resolution of 720 by 480 pixels and was commonly used on early TVs, budget laptop screens, and CRT monitors. In terms of quality, unlike 240 or 360p, which looks so blurry that even texts become hard to read, 480p looks better because smaller objects like texts are now readable. But of course, this resolution wasn't perfect, since there are many blurry parts parts and pixelated edges when you take a closer look. But at least 480p quality was good enough to become the standard resolution for DVD movies and many PlayStation 2 games. And not just that, people back then also liked 480p because it required much less storage than a higher resolution like 720p. 720p 720p is a high-definition resolution with 1280 by 720 pixels, and this was the first resolution that made visuals look smooth and more realistic on the screen. Unlike 480p, which still shows pixelated edges and blurry areas, 720p looks smoother because individual pixels are much harder to notice. That means smaller objects like logos and text will have clearer shapes and be easier to recognize too. This good quality is the reason why 720p was widely used on HDTVs, streaming platforms like YouTube and Netflix in the late 2000s, and also PlayStation 3 games. 1080p 1080p, which is also known as Full HD, is the most popular and widely used resolution in today's world. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, and it's commonly used for laptops, TVs, monitors, phones, and many more. So the reason why this resolution is so widely used is because it looks smooth but also sharp, while lower resolution like HD is only smooth but not sharp. Also, when we play video games, you can even see wrinkles and solid lines on someone's clothes very easily. But those details become invisible when you play it in HD resolution. Another great thing about 1080p is that when you stream videos, you don't need super fast internet compared to higher resolutions like 4K. However, despite Full HD resolution being this great, you have to understand Understand that not all of them look the same, because the quality of a resolution will still be affected by the size of the screen itself. For example, let's say we have two Full HD TVs in different sizes. If we see a picture on the smaller one, it looks pretty good, but on the bigger screen it looks kind of blurry. This happens because Full HD resolution only has around 2 million pixels in total. So on a smaller screen, those 2 million pixels became very dense, which makes the image look more detailed and solid. But on a larger screen, the same pixels are stretched over a wider area, making the picture look pixelated or blurry, even though the quality is also Full HD. This is why some people like competitive gamers and editors prefer 1440p instead of 1080p. 1440p 1440p, which is also called Quad HD, is a resolution that's commonly used for competitive gaming and video editing. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, which makes it capable of showing more detailed images compared to full HD resolution. Now, if we're just straight up comparing it with 1080p to see objects that are close or large, it might not look that different. However, if we compare 1080p and 1440p when seeing something tiny or far away, 1440p is definitely better. For example, when we see this hill in 1080p, the shape looks a little bit harsh and the image is kind of blurry. Also, if I zoom into the building here, it is as if there is nothing at all. However, when we see the same image in 1440p, the shape of the hill is looking more solid. And unlike 1080p, that almost doesn't show anything. With 1440p, we can actually see details like tiny windows on this building. 
This kind of clarity is especially useful when playing competitive FPS games, because we often need to see enemies from so far away, so even the smallest detail is very important. And not just that, despite 1440p being more detailed, it's actually still not heavy like 4K resolution. Other than gaming, this resolution is also useful for productivity work like editing or coding, because doing these kinds of tasks is always better on a bigger screen since we have more space to see our work. But like I said earlier, when we see something in full HD, it looks sharp on a small smaller screen, but it will look a bit hazy on that large screen since the pixel gets stretched. And this is bad because the text or editing timeline will be blurred too. That's why using 1440p is better in this condition. So yeah, after seeing those differences, it's clear why 1440p is way more dominant than 1080p. That's why I've tagged some recommended 1440p displays in the video description, just in case you need them. 4K 4K is an Ultra HD resolution that has 3840 by 2160 pixels. This is four times the pixel amount of full HD resolution, which makes 4K images have very high pixel density, so we don't need to zoom in to compare it with the lower resolutions. This is why 4K is commonly used for watching movies on larger TVs or ultra-wide monitors. It is great because with smaller screens or lower resolutions, we usually have to sit closer to watch movies more clearly. But with this detailed 4K resolution, we can sit a bit further from the screen and still see fine textures. And not just that, 4K is also great for watching movies because a lot of 4K TVs support HDR features. This feature basically makes things more cinematic by keeping dark scenes dark, but not completely black, so we can still see details in the shadows. At the same time, bright areas like sunlight or reflections look more vibrant and realistic, but not so bright that they cover up the whole image. However, with all this high-quality stuff, streaming in 4K also means you need a proper Wi-Fi router and a fast internet connection to actually enjoy it. 5K 5K is a unique resolution that stands by itself from the regular screen resolutions. It has 51 20 by 28 80 pixels, and it's mainly used for professional monitors like Apple's Studio Display and iMac Retina 5K, which are created for designers, engineers, and photographers. So what's great about 5K is that you can view 4K images or videos at full quality while still having room for toolbars, panels, and other elements around the screen. And this is great because you can see tiny curves or measurements without having to zoom in or zoom out all the time. However, this makes 5K displays more expensive, even compared to 4K TVs or monitors. And not just that, they also need high-end display cables like HDMI 2.1 or Thunderbolt to actually run properly. 8K 8K, which is also an Ultra HD resolution, like 4K, is currently the highest resolution for our modern-day standard. It has 7680 by 4320 pixels, which is four times the amount of the pixels of 4K, or 16 times bigger than Full HD resolution. This makes 8K extremely sharp to be used for giant screens in luxury home theaters and demo rooms. But honestly, just because 8K is extremely sharper than the others, it doesn't mean it's better, because most content these days is only shown in Full HD, or 4K at max. And even if you really see an image with 8K resolution, the difference compared to 4K is so small that it's very hard to tell. That's why most people don't even bother using 8K TV and just stick with a full HD or 4K display. Oh yeah, I also made some other cool videos too, so don't forget to watch them later, okay?